Hi everyone, I'm Przemysł Pacznęzak, Creative Director of Rogue Waters, a roguelike tactical game where you become an immortal pirate captain. In this game, you lead a cursed crew across the seas in search of treasure and power. Your ultimate goal? To take revenge on the captain who betrayed you. Today, I'm excited to give you a glimpse of our gameplay by taking you through one of our intense boarding actions. Let's dive in! This is the board phase. Your pirates are the one with the green health bars and enemies are in red. As you can see, every pirate standing next to an enemy is fencing, which reflects the dynamic nature of the scene and means that they are engaged in combat. Let's take a closer look at the heart of the game. Like in real melee fight, when you're attacking, you advance forward, while your enemy parries and retreats. Therefore, the angle of attack is really important. So let's change the angle. Now, as you can see, while the enemy is moving back, he steps into an obstacle and receives additional damage. So we need to be aware of your surroundings and different types of obstacles. And we've got few of them in this scene. The basic, the spiked one and burning fire. Okay, now let's go back to the fight and attack an enemy who is cornered with nowhere to retreat to. Now, he received triple damage and if you kill him this way, he falls overboard. Just like that. Okay, but what if we take that mechanic even further? Imagine that you are someone like Captain Jack Sparrow, fighting against multiple enemies. Let's attack from different angle and force one enemy to stumble into another. And they both take damage. Okay, now I will show you how to improve another character's damage thanks to position. If I switch to Imani Seablade and move her closer to an enemy, I block his path, so now I deal additional damage by the captain. So enemy and enemy behind him takes an additional damage. That was just a basic attack mechanic. As you can see, there are plenty of options, and it is up to you to figure out how to outsmart your enemies. And of course you can always undo your action and try different solutions. So let's play it again, but now I want to show you more advanced attacks. Let's switch to the Mugger, who is a huge sword. As you might expect, he attacks multiple enemies at once. His attack results in major reshuffle as everyone tries to escape. The Fisherman falls overboard, the Powder Barrel stumbles into the bootlicker, and Shilly kills him. Now let's switch to the Imani Seablade and throw the Powder Barrel overboard. Finish our turn, we choose the Spear Maiden to attack in long nap. Let's pin that guy down. Now it is an actor, and they, of course, retaliate, try to damage you as much as they can, and they throw bones like that. Now it is out though. Let's take interactivity to the next level. As a pirate, you always have a chance to grab a rope or a weapon from stand and use it for free, just like in beloved pirate movies. So let's use rope to swing behind an enemy and push him into the spikes. Now, our skill maiden can move and attack diagonally, forcing the enemy to stand behind the bomb thrower. But, as you can see, she now stands in Puddle of Tar, which actually cripples her armor and weapon damage. You need to be cautious where you end your movement. Take advantage of the fact that the bomber has no space to move backward and kill him with the assassin. To finish the action, let's do classic pirate move and throw back the bomb. Defeating enemies with their own weapons sure is satisfying. As you can see, the boarding phase is all about outmaneuvering your enemies, and you can figure out your own way of dealing with every situation. Thanks for watching. I hope that you like our dynamic take on tactical melee combat. If you did, smash that wishlist button on Steam or Epic Game Store. We like when you buy games too, but no pressure. Fair winds and following seas, pirates.